Hello everyone, I'm Rich Lamont. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. So it's Monday and that means it's time to review another material. Um, what more important a material than the hooks? So here we've got a, a selection of the more commonly, more commonly used hooks uh, that you'll see used here on my channel and probably what you'll see mostly uh, with a lot of what people tie nowadays. Um, some of these hooks are no longer available, like these blind eyes. Um, Partridge no longer makes blind eye hooks. Uh, I don't believe there's any major manufacturers anymore that are making them. Uh, there are some guys that are privately making their own hooks and um, do sell them. Uh, there's some guys in uh, different countries, one guy in Denmark, uh, some guys in Europe. Um, but uh, these are the majority of the ones that were in production. Uh, these ones up here are still in production. I Except for this, I don't believe this Bartlett Bend one is. Um, but you can still find some of them around. Um, and there are hooks that are very similar to those anyway. So, um, yeah, so let's review some of these. I'm probably not going to get all the information uh, about them in the video. So if there's anything that I'm missing, there's something that, uh, you know, I either forgot to point out or maybe something that I got wrong. Um, don't be afraid to let me know. Uh, put it in the comments below. I'm, you know, I'm always uh, learning new stuff and, um, you know, always willing to accept uh, if I if I make a mistake or say something wrong. Or, um, but if I miss something, uh, I'll be sure to uh, make a backup video eventually, and um, I'll, you know, I'll bring that back up. So, I'll start over here in the corner with the uh, the Partridge um, Patriot single hook. It's a pretty common hook that is used for uh, a lot of harrowing style salmon flies. Um, it's also used for uh, quite a few spay, foot, spay patterns as well. Um, it's got you know a nice curved uh, shank on it and a pretty, pretty deep bend with a straight point. The Patriot Double is just that. It's the Double Patriot. It's basically the same hook. Um, it does seem that it's got a bit more of a pronounced bend right here, though. Uh, it does seem a little steeper. I just received these hooks today, by the way, so this is kind of my first review of actually seeing them as well. Um, and it actually looks like the main shank of the hook isn't quite as curved or pronounced as the original Patriot. Let's put these on this. If we can see that a little bit better. But anyway, the double is used just the same. That's used for a lot of hairwing salmon flies. Um, but there's also some uh, featherwing salmon flies that are tied on those as well. Then we've got the partridge low water. Uh, salmon hooks. Now these hooks are used quite a bit um, for a lot of different patterns. You can use a lot of these for um, starting off tying salmon flies rather than getting into blind eye hooks right away. These are a good one to use with the up the up eye. The same thing with the Par Patriot single. You can use that as well. Um, but this is a really good one to learn on. These are great for like rusty rat patterns. Um, and actually anything in the rat family is really good flies to pa practice on. And this is a great hook, hook to start with. Uh, this hook also comes in sizes all the way down into the smallers, twos, fours, sixes. The Bartlett Bend hook. Uh, these I picked up from someone that had got them from an estate sale. So uh, I picked up a few packages of those. I didn't know if I'd ever see them again. Um, I don't know if they're still in production. I do have to check with Partridge and see, but uh, you can see the difference in these from that to the Patriot. If you look, it's got that drop point, um, whereas the Patriot has the straight point. But they have a similar curved shank and a similar bend. Uh, the bend, yeah, it looks to be very, very close. Um, and the shank shape, and length compared to the bend and the hook um, is also quite similar. But if you can get your hands on some of these, these are also a great uh, a great hook to learn on. Um, they're a great hook for a lot of harrowing patterns. You can tie a lot of salmon patterns on that as well. 
Now just the same with that is the Daiichi 2051. That's a very similar hook to the Partridge. The only difference that I'm really seeing for the most part is the wire use and the hook point's a little bit different. The hook point on the Daiichi is it's not so pronounced a drop whereas the Partridge hook has more of that drop on the point. Otherwise the uh, the bend is very similar. The um, point is really the main difference on that. Now this hook here I, I brought out, it's not so much a salmon hook, um, but I brought it out to point out the bend. This is what, they, what looks more like a, a limerick bend. Uh, this is a mustad hook, the Hamecon Irelandis. I think that's how it's pronounced. Don't quote me on that. But um, this hook, I've seen some guys that have been tying with Hamecons. Uh, they're tying a lot of the Irish style um, salmon flies, the older salmon flies that you'll see in like the cork collection and things like that. Um, I've been looking for the hooks that they use, and this was the closest I found, but it's not quite the right hook. Um, but I did want to bring that one out just to kind of show the bend and uh, give you an idea of what a limerick bend does look like. Uh, down in this corner, now we're getting into the blind eye hooks. Um, over here is, this is an HE2, size 2O, and that's from Partridge also. Again, I found these online and, um, you know, picked them up when I had the opportunity. <clears throat> Has a very, um, uh, what am I going to say, si kind of a signature hook point. It's got that drop hook point there. But as you can see, again, it's got a very similar Bartlett bend, style bend with a much longer, extra long shank. Uh, these, I would imagine, are more used for like D style flies um, or some very long, creative, um, artistic style salmon flies, which is kind of what I plan to use them for. Uh, again, these, uh, I, I don't think these are in production anymore. Actually, they're not in production anymore. None of these um, are which is kind of unfortunate. Um, blind eye hooks are kind of becoming more and more more difficult to find. So, uh, you know, whenever you find them, if you do come across them, it's kind of one of those things that you buy um, when you find them, not when you need them. So, uh, this here is a Sprite Harrison Bartlett D style. And the D, this is used, it's got the longer shank. This is used for more D-style flies. Um, I would imagine uh, this would be kind of similar to the HE2 as far as usage. Um, again, longer style salmon flies. There's a lot of patterns that have longer wings or ones that use feather wings instead of uh, like a married wing or something. Um, but that would be your D-style hooks. Uh, these other ones, this one here is a 3O Adlington and Hutchinson. Um, these are kind of the only ones that I really find any kind of numbers of. Um, I found a couple places in uh, Europe that have them. And there's one, um, I believe if you go right to the Sprite website. Um, got their information right here. You can check them out at Sprite Hooks on Facebook, or there we go. Actually, I'll leave all the information. I'll, I'll do a quick little um, excerpt at the end with a bit of the information about uh, where you can find some of these hooks and more information on the bends and where you can find them. But uh, this is probably one of the most commonly used hooks that I use. Um, just because it was easily available and these are the ones that I was including in the kits because it's it's a good hook to learn on. Um, it's a good blind eye hook to start with and um, you know it's one of the ones that was more common and easy to find. However 3.0 is the only size hook that I've been able to find it in. So another one of those if you find them when you can grab it. Uh, the Heritage blind eyes I've got a few of these in a couple of the larger sizes but the Heritage, um, these, uh, these no longer are made as well, but they're made by Partridge. Uh, and as you can see, the bend is a little similar 
to the Adlington and Hutchinson, just a little on the larger scale. Um, I believe that the Heritage was part of this line at one point. So, that's really the only difference between the two, I think. Um, it does look like right here with the hook point, where the, um, where the hook point up here it drops, here it looks like more of a, um, more of a gradual um, drop off, rather than such a pronounced drop like you'd see right here on the Adlington and Hutchinson. Now, this one, the Alcock, is more of a sprout bend, which, if you look, is kind of like a round bend, but it starts to actually plane out a little bit right here. Um, not really plane out, but it starts to curve towards the shank a bit more right here. Uh, here's a good example of a round bend blind eye hook, which, just as it sounds, it's got a round bend on it. This is a bit more towards the round bend. It's kind of a, almost a mix between a round bend and um, like a Bartlett style bend. But the Alcock hooks, again, these, these aren't made anymore either. Um, these are actually quite a nice hook though. It's got that nice straight point and um, I really like the, the, the shape of the barb on it as well. And the, uh, the last hook I've got down here is a Kerry Stevens. Um, that's a Kerry Stevens hook. I believe this was a Mustad. Um, it's got the Mustad bend on it. It's very similar to the uh, Limerick bend, as you can see. And if you saw my great ghost video, uh, this was the hook that I used just on a larger scale. This is a number four, and the one I used was a 2.0. And those are typically used for, obviously, more your streamers than anything, um, rather than, uh, you know, a classic salmon fly. And one thing I wanted to show, that again, I'll do, uh, I'll do a, a little excerpt at the end, but uh, this book here, Tying, Fly Tying for Salmon by Eric Travener, this was a great book to pick up. It actually has... A couple of pages where it actually shows all the different style hook bends um, that were created back then. Um, and it shows over here the dates um, 1875, uh, the Limerick bend number 31. Where'd it go? Right here. Oh. Let's look at a different page. Okay, so it's got two different pages, but it shows you all the different um, style bends, and then it gives you the names of them. There we go, that's the one I was looking for, which is very similar to this hook here. Um, but it shows you over here the type of bend, whether it's uh, an O'Shaughnessy Limerick, which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not 100% certain what that all means yet. Um, I can recognize some of the hook bends and points, and things like that, but um, I'm definitely not a pro when it comes to knowing hooks. So, this book is really great. If you have a chance to find it, um, I found this one on eBay. Uh, it is a bit of an older book, and I do think that um, it will be kind of something that you might have to fight someone over. But uh, if you can get your hands on it, it's definitely worth uh, having a look at. So, I'll take both of these pages and I'll freeze frame it and uh, I'll have this at the end of the video. So if you guys want to take a quick, better look at it, um, you'll be able to. And I'll be able, I'll get uh, some good shots of the description page as well. And then I'll do the same with the other page of salmon hooks. So I hope that video helped you guys out a little bit in uh, recognizing you know, some of the different hooks that we use in salmon fly tying. There are lots of other hooks that you'll see that are out there. Um, there's lots of guys in Europe make their, making their own hooks. Um, there's guys, and there's a gentleman in Denmark, Lars Mahler. He makes some fantastic hooks. Um, 
but uh, you know some of these guys they've got their own bends that they use a lot of them use um, some of the bends from way back uh, in the 1800s the ones that were set by you know the the original professionals so you look at guys like Ron Lucas um, he's got his noble series uh, those were um, I believe some of those were used and named after um, some of the other fly tires that helped him kind of create some of those so there's lots of other hooks out there these are just kind of the the ones that I have and a lot of the ones that you'll see on my channel um, and then the majority of these up here the Daiichis you know you'll see them uh, on you know places like Facebook and uh, a lot of tires will be using those and a lot of tires will be using these partridge hooks um, the low water styles you see a lot of the Patriot singles and the Bartlett's um, all very nice excuse me all very nice hooks to work with and uh, you know very beautiful hooks so if you liked the video give it a thumbs up um, if you got any comments feel free I'm, I'm more than happy to to get to your comments and at the very least read them and uh, see what you guys think about the the video like I said if you've got anything you want to add anything you want to share by all means I'm, I'm more than happy to to take a look at what you guys have for information um, I want to know more every day so, you know, interacting with the channel, that helps it grow, helps uh, YouTube know that I'm creating content that's liked, helps me know that I'm making content that's liked. Uh, can't talk, must be getting close to dinner time. So, um, you know, hope you guys have yourselves a wonderful night. I'll have another video coming up here in a day or two. Uh, next fly will be coming out, so keep your post notifications on for that. And until then, I hope you guys have yourselves a great evening and happy time. Take care, everyone.